Hi, Hi friends. friends. Well, here it is. We're trying to make fry bread from the book. Once again, in case you didn't have an opportunity to freeze it before, here, let's see, get all my ingredients. Here's the recipe list. Okay, so this should be fun. I just have to preface it by saying this is our first time making this and we're not professionals. You can try this at home. We're not professionals. You're not professionals. Okay, the first thing we did, friends, the first things we need are boiling water in a medium pot. So, Ellie, could you turn on the pot? Yes. So we will start our water to a boil. Then we are gonna add cornmeal to that pot, which we have everything pre-measured so it doesn't take forever. And then we have to whip it in the pot. Then we reduce the heat, add some cold water, pound out the lumps, and then we'll take that off. So, all right, I am going to pause this while we wait for the water to boil, and we'll see you there. Actually, you might want to get out. This is the cornmeal, the raw sugar, although I don't know why you couldn't use regular sugar if that's <laughs> what you have at home. Two packets of yeast. You want to hold up the yeast filling? Yeah, this is what yeast looks like. You can order it or you can just buy and a teaspoon of salt. <laughs> okay, we'll see ya when the water boils. Okay, now we're, now we're adding the cornmeal to our boiling water. Some of you might be, I'm gonna turn it down just a smidge, might be old hat at this. Yeah, if you do try this at home, then just make sure your parent helps you with the stove. Oh, we need the potato masher to get the lumps out. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, Ellie? Do we do that right You can mash it. Mash it. Oh, I think it's boiling too hard. Okay, guys. Maybe don't try this at home. Okay. Dang it. It's going everywhere. Okay. There. Mom, you threw it back in the coffee pot. No. I know. Okay, so okay. this is our cornmeal. So we gotta stir it until smooth, and you can see there's still some powder in there. So we're just gonna keep stirring. Yes. Okay, it's almost there. Just gonna check, like always make sure to check underneath. Right. Uh, extra cornmeal. Okay. You got it? Okay, we're gonna turn our stove down now to medium. And then, can you hold this for yeah. a second? And then we will add our cup and a half of cold water. Okay. Let's see what. Mm, that doesn't look Mom, right, friends. No, we got to. Well, it keeps smooth. Yep, keep stirring. <laughs> and maybe now we could use our fork. Let's see, you have fork is right over there, Ellie. Nope, the fork. Uh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Not the masher. We usually use that for forks. Okay, kind of with it. There you go. This doesn't look right. I know, I think we gotta cook it down a little bit. Um. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna stir it, read the instructions. Okay. Are we letting it be simmer? We're gonna let it sit. Let it sit off of heat. Yeah, turn the heat off. Okay, so now we're just gonna let it sit while we combine the other ingredients. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. so it's finally cool. Mostly cool. Mostly cool. We put it in this bowl. We just decided to go for it, so we have it in a large bowl. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to add our sugar. Oh. Our salt and our um, yeast into here gradually. I'm just gonna mix it up really quick, just so it's not like all sugar and then all yeast. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so okay. we're just gonna add a little bit in. Yeah. And then we're gonna mix it. Do you wanna do that one? You can go ahead. Oh, mix okay. it. Yeah. Mix sure. it. Do you wanna add the rest of the sugar? What? What do you mean? Are you supposed to add it in gradually? No, that's the flour. Oh, that's the flour. There's a lot of instructions oh. here. <laughs> it's all in the book. So it's all like, in the book. All right, okay. I'm going to stir like crazy. Yes. Then, after this, we gradually add our flour. Our flour, again, this is three and a half cups. So, yeah, we're just going to gradually add it in. 
Mm, it smells really tasty. Okay, I'm just excited to try it. Something yeah. totally new. Okay, Ellie, do you want to put a little in? Yeah, maybe this will be a new recipe. Yeah, a new Thanksgiving recipe. Okay, I added... Maybe a little more. Yeah, I just couldn't see it. Yeah, it's okay. Fine. All right, <clears throat> give it a stir. We're going to add about a cup at a time, maybe half a cup. Yeah, and then it says if it gets dry, you can add some water along the way, some sprinkles of water. You can see it's getting... Ellie, can you hold the camera up so we yep. can see the mixture? Add this. Okay, should add some more. Then we have our water over yeah. here in case we need to. Yeah, let's add some more. Okay. You want me to add it since you have yeah. the camera? Yeah. Okay. Let's kind of tap the bowl there. Yeah. All right. Give it a little stir. One more. Oh, this smells really good. <laughs> might need to add a teeny bit of water next time we uh, add the flour. Oh, then. right. Should I mush? Yes. Okay, friends. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> okay. You really gotta get it. Jeez, I'm trying to ah, mush. You don't I want mean. lumps. <laughs> I need to okay. All right, I think that's good. Yeah, now we're gonna add. Jeez. <sighs> All right. So <laughs> okay, let's. Okay, guys, so we have our um, flour, cornmeal, and water all set up. And now we're just gonna cover it with a damp towel or a rag. And then we're gonna put it right over here. And we're gonna let it rest for three hours. Okay, we'll be back in a bit. Yeah. Hey, come here. Okay, so it has been about three hours of proving and our dough is like doubled in size. If you look at the footage back then so it should be uh kind of soft and sticky which is what we have right now so we have two greased up um spoons just with coconut oil now we're gonna move all of our stuff here <laughs> okay we have our coconut oil in the pan here ellie can you hand me a wooden spoon please so we need to melt this it's already melting ellie grab me a wooden spoon so we're supposed to just go ahead and get this softened. As you can tell, I'm not an expert in the kitchen, but you know what? Let's put a lid on this. Well, we can get those big chunks. I'm just gonna keep the heat in there for a second. So what we're gonna do at first to test a um, it's ready and it's at like a good temperature and stuff. We're just gonna drop in a little piece of dough and if it just simmers and doesn't splatter, then it's ready. So, um, yeah, once this is all melted. Oh, that's me. Okay, friends, we are really getting almost done. Here is our pan of fry bread that is done. Here's Ellie. She's getting the last of our fry bread finished up. And I'll show you, we might even dip some in powdered sugar. I really want to make a point to tell you that we are doing our best to follow the instruction, instructions of Native Americans and their culture. So while we have shown you what we can do, it by no means is as good as what someone who, actually this is their cultural heritage, they're something that they love doing, okay? So maybe we can find someone who, this is their true blue thing to show us next year. For this year, you have me and Ellie and Joey doing our best to try to nod to the people who really lived on this land first, okay? All right, happy Thanksgiving, or happy Thanksgiving was last week, I guess. It's Thanksgiving for us in a couple of days, and we're hoping to have fry bread then, okay? All right, bye friends.